Hello, and welcome to the TechBits YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at dbfiddle.com. Let's go ahead and get started. So I open the browser and navigate towards db-fiddle.com. Notice we have a variety of areas on our screen here. So to that effect, I'm going to showcase that we have the dropdown, we have a schema SQL pane, we have also a query SQL pane, and last but not least, we have a button text to DDL. That said, these are the main features here. Of course, you're going to have additional such as this toolbar here. We will reach to it in a few moments there. Okay, enough about explaining this. Now let's get to the meat of it. If I click on the drop down, notice that we're going to have three types of databases available for us. And yes, there are different versions available as well. MySQL has version 8, 5.7, 5.6, 5.5. Postgres has versions from 15 all the way down to 9.4. And SQLite from 3.39 down to 3.26. We can choose and switch between any of these. Now for full disclosure, I am not affiliated to dbfiddle.com nor being paid by them to promote or review this. Back to our video. We are already chosen the database. We have a few options here. The first one is text to DDL. What this is going to do is if I type in the name for a table and provide some text in some format. So for instance, Jack had 250,000 sales. John wasn't that far behind and sold 175,000 dollars and Jill really was worked hard this month and got half a million in sales. Great. If I click preview the DDL, it's going to create the SQL for the table creation and for inserting more data. So I click on it and notice that's exactly what happened. I'm going to copy the text created and close this window. I'm going to paste it into the schema SQL pane, highlight it all and run it. We noticed that something happened, but we did not see a select towards the table. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's select from sales, highlight it and run it. And we see that the data is there as expected. That's the first part. Now, why is this useful? We're creating quick, uh, we are having the ability to quickly create a table or a sets of tables or SQL statements that we can share with others. How? We click on collaborate and you can share it, modify your avatar. You can share it by email or IM to anybody else, use microphone or the chat. That's going to allow us to share this SQL in case you want to review it with others of your peers of your team if you're having troubles and would like somebody to review it or vice versa. That's the usefulness of this tool. Aside from being able to quickly create tables on any of these versions. Now, the big reminder is this is all ephemeral, meaning as soon as I close the browser or refresh it, it will be gone. So let's put that to the test. If I refresh, sales table will not exist and should not exist. So if I try to Again, retrieve anything from it. We get an error. On top of that, if you notice, we were on Postgres version 15. Now it's on MySQL. Nothing wrong with that. Let's just in case go ahead and cross check again and see if there's anything left in memory. It's not. Okay. So another nifty tool here is loading an example for us. Are you want to remove? Yes, it's going to clear and notice it created a table that with all its SQL there statements and it retrieved it for us. Last but not least is we can also copy this as markdown. I copied it. So let's take a look at it in our text editor. What did it copy? It copied the schema, the results and tells you where it came from. Yes, this is a very simple tool and it's not perfect. 
has some drawbacks, but also has some, the beauty of it is I don't have to fire up an instance. I don't have to provision an instance in the cloud, a VMware workstation, or any of the sorts to just quickly peruse and work with some SQL statements or table that I want to work upon. That would be, I would say, is one of the strongest features of this tool and wanted to share it with you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments or if you'd like some other tools that you have in mind that you think are better or close enough to this one. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.